Someone, te- some texter said, well, because when they found out they won, they had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Could be. Good. The 15 Minute Morning Show podcast. Here we go. I got Scary. I've got a Gandhi. I've got Brody. I've got uh, just Garrett. Oh, yeah. Scotty B's in the house. Hi. Did I get Froggy? Hello. Froggy. And there's Danielle. Hello. And Straight Nate. Hi. So <laughs> at the end of today's show, we were talking about the lottery. Someone just won that one point what billion dollar Three, lottery? Four. Three four. Three. So the cash payout is how much? Uh, eight hundreds? No, I don't know what the exact cash payout. Four hundred twenty-one million. No, yeah. no, it's, it's way more than six hundred and something like that. Well, a shitload of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> but wait a minute, I thought somebody said that they took the like yearly thing. But now we're hearing that nobody even no claimed, claimed it at all. So I know. We don't know because yeah. no, one, no one has claimed it. So what, what was the story, Gandhi? It's back to you time. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the cash payout was. Uh-huh. I think I would take it as an annuity. $780.5 Right. But then, but then $780.5 million. But then you have so to pay tax today, on that. So there's only 400 and some million after that. That's correct. No, that was no, after tax. No, that is after taxes. You won one point four. You come home with seven hundred. Don't confuse it. Yeah, you're, yeah, that is after tax. That's why oh, it is. You're double said, taxing it. Yeah, you're taxing yes. the tax. Oh okay. wait, wait, wait. I'm reading it further. The winner can expect a minimum of almost two hundred twenty-six million in taxes, lowering the take-home amount to roughly five hundred and fifty-four point right. five yeah. million. That's oh, what I that's thought. Oh, how could you live on that, guys? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If they, if, they, if, they, if they win the one point three four million. Yeah. After taxes, it's like seven hundred million. No, no, that's no. the you take an annuity, which is the one point three three seven billion, right? And it's a it, an incremental payout over the course of twenty five years, or you take the payout amount, which is less. Correct. The payout, okay, uh. the payout amount is less. But moving on. Oh. Uh, so the point was, no one has claimed it yet. So we're right. wondering, hmm, why? Right. Someone, te- some texter said, well, because when they found out they won, they had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Could be. Maybe. Could happen. And the cats ate them and the ticket. And somebody's changing their will as we speak. Yeah. Or maybe they listen to the show and listen to my plan. You do not say you won lottery. You sign it. You put it in a little safe. You continue going about your daily life. Hire an attorney. And then when you have a really bad day at work, you just go, fuck this and leave. And then people don't know. I don't know. I'd be clawing on the lottery mm. office doors. Right. <laughs> Hello? Right. Yeah. Anybody home? In, in Illinois? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Which is this one of those states where... You don't have to make it public. Nope. It's one of the only states you can Yeah, do but that. you still claim it. You yeah. still want to claim it. Yeah, but maybe they Someone claimed else it and we don't know about it. Nobody no. said nobody silent. claimed it. Okay, no. as, as Gundy reported, yeah. according to them, no one has claimed it yet. <laughs> the lottery office says nobody has called to claim the ticket. That's right. where you have to call to claim and the ticket. And they said that you get, what, six? You said six months, right, Nate? It's 180 days to claim your prize. I would be the one to accidentally throw the ticket in the garbage. I just I know. Like, oh, no. <laughs> and then I'd screw everybody. What happens if no one claims it? You know, I don't know. I would assume it's, I don't think that they give it away again. I think no, it's, probably, I, it's distributed to wherever it's supposed to go, like the schools and stuff like that. I don't think it doesn't go back in the pot. Nice. We're looking into it. We're looking into it now. No, it doesn't go back into a winnable pot. I no. don't think. No, it goes to wherever the money's, the proceeds go, right? It's not Education like and roads and... Exactly. By yeah. the way, we're sitting here guessing on yeah. everything. This oh. If, oh, here the, comes. if the jackpot prize is not claimed within the required time limit, each participating state in the Mega Millions game will get back all the money that state contributed to the unclaimed jackpot. Oh, and oh. then they get to donate states. it as they donate it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, schools, that's right? cool. They're themselves. How about they just split it with everyone who bought a ticket? Yeah. And everyone gets like, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. It'd be nice. Uh, it's not going to happen. No. no. But, Would be yeah. nice, though. Um, so there you go. Has anybody here won? I like a, a big yeah. amount, yeah, not I won, I like won 20 million. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I won, no, that's why I won I'm here. a couple of thousand. I've won like, 1400 That's about it. I won $2,000 yeah. through, through Jet Pocket. Is that what? what? Yeah, and nice. because it was in the middle of pandemic, it took them a while to get it to me, but wow. I got it. From, I got to download that app. My little sister actually picked numbers out of a hat when she was a little kid, and that's how we won a couple thousand dollars. Really? Uh-huh, yeah. My uh, brother's friend won the scratch off, the win for life. And he still is every week or month, whatever, getting a check. For how much? Oh. It was it was like a, a lot of money. It was like the most you can win on a scratch. Wow. And the number is? I don't know. Oh, make up a number. Though. It was in the millions. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah he got an annuity. But yes, Gandhi. Like what? No, I've just never won anything. I'm you, you, fascinated. You keep looking, looking like you want to say something, and everyone keeps burying no, you. No, I was just going to say I've never won anything, and I'm very impressed at all the people in here who have. Jeez, you guys are lucky. Nothing. I'm, I'm a 2,000-air baby. Shh. Better than nothing. I would take it. So, Scotty had another question, and it totally went over everyone's head. What was it? I don't remember. It was a few <laughs> questions ago. Went over his head. Um, I, I I don't remember. How much do you think you've spent on the lottery, Scotty? 
Um, I mean, a, a decent amount. I mean, not not some amount where you'd be like, are you out of your mind? You know, I, I, I'd play it when it gets big, and I'll buy a scratch off every once in a while. But you've definitely spent more than you've won. Oh, for sure. Okay. But they say got to be in it to win it. Yeah. yeah. I love that the odds of winning are like 400 million to one. And then there's always that person in the office who goes, it's rigged. Nobody's winning. It's rigged. Well, no, you didn't win. That's that's how mm -hmm. it works. Right. All right. Right now, uh, Wednesday, tonight, tonight's Powerball is $202 million. Eh. Okay, that's still eh. great. That's Pardon me. still amazing. Jack Pocket, play now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to think people were going to come to my house when the publisher's clearing house. <laughs> you remember they used to have the balloons and the big check? The giant check, they yeah. would like show you on the commercial, we're coming to your house. And I was like, they're going to drive up any minute with the big truck. <laughs> did they ever do that? They never did. Yeah. <laughs> real. I used to work there. It's I, So that's not rigged. That's oh, real. you did? Really? Yes. I used to work for publisher's clearing house. I would be in the mail sorting room, and there were these giant machines, and all the entries would come in, and I would be in charge of feeding them into the thing and opening them up. So yeah. how do they determine who wins that? It's it's totally random. Really? It, it, you didn't have to buy magazines. There was no better chance if you bought a magazine or anything like that. But my favorite <laughs> thing about it is it, it would go through these machines with the belts, and people would put all kinds of stuff in the envelopes, and every once in a while, like a pen or pencil would be in it, and it would go through, and all the belts would fly all over the room, <laughs> and all the letters would get jammed. <laughs> yeah. Everything would put their lucky rabbit foot in the envelope. Yeah, yeah, it would jam the machines. See, for me, a $202 million jackpot is just as big in my world as a $1.3 billion. I, so why I don't we pay it as much attention? Why doesn't it get the ballyhoo, the fanfare, the hoopla, the, the brouhaha? I, I just I just bought the tickets. Hoopla, yeah. Good for you. I'm going to buy one, too. I'm just reminded of that. Tell you what, states that don't have jack pocket apps, yeah. I'm telling you, it makes it way too easy. Yeah. Do you play nice. your same numbers, though, or do you randomize oh, it every randomize. time? Randomize. Yeah. But, but don't they say that's the, the one step closer to winning is if you play the same numbers over and over again? I, I've never that's heard that. That's a gambler's fallacy because the machine be. doesn't know what numbers yeah, you play. Yeah, exactly. It could be. I don't know. But the odds Right, of but the what are the chances you, of the random odd. numbers coming up twice? The same as coming up once. Yeah. It doesn't have a memory. It's like flipping a coin. It's the old gambler's fallacy. If you flip a coin 50 times and it comes up heads 50 times, you're going to double down and say it's got to come up tails. But the coin doesn't know the next time is the 51st time. True. It's still 50-50 odds. Mm. Now, when it comes to slot machines. That's different. Yeah. I have a feeling there's some shenanigans going on. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you suspect? I suspect that they are tuned to pay off, not yep. pay off. And if a machine's too hot, they slow it down. Yep. The yes. same thing with those crane games yeah, at, the, at the fair. Because I saw that special where it says every couple of like tries, it'll make it look like it's getting tighter so that you think you're going to get the prize. And then like one out of every 15, yep. they make it set so that the wow. prize actually comes out. Yeah, those, claw are, machines are, those claw machines are much smarter than I ever thought. <laughs> I'll take it a step further. I love blackjack. And Scary and I have played blackjack on a number of occasions. Yep. I think... The casino hires people to go fuck you up at the table, because there's been times where everybody's. I'm not. Le I'm not kidding here. There's been times where I'm like hitting everything yeah. and winning a ton of money, and we're all like, yeah, woo! And then this little old lady with a bag sits down and starts fucking shit up at the table, yeah, that's and everybody starts losing. They start hitting when they're supposed to stay, and they start staying when they're supposed to hit, and then everybody starts losing. She's hired by the casino. But it's not her fault. Well, first of all, I do it for free because I go mess everybody up for nothing because I don't you know how to play. You shouldn't do that. Yes. I'll, hit on an, I'll hit on a seven. Don't 17, do okay. that. Why would yeah, you do that? That, that has no to. effect. Right, yes, it does. Yes, it does. No, if, I, if, I take a, if I take a hit when I shouldn't, right, and I get a 10 and you needed a three, no, then no, a no, three no, no, comes no. up. If you're taking works. the card the dealer needs, then you fuck up the table. And sometimes you take the card that the dealer would have gotten a 21. It doesn't matter. There's no rhyme or reason. No, there totally is with Blackjack. There totally is Yeah, there totally is rhyme or reason. No, no, there's rhyme or reason to play, but whether or not the person next to you no, sucks that's, that's does not wrong. affect it. Have you ever played so, blackjack? Yes, many times. You don't know, though. You because don't hit on a 17. But if I do hit on a 17, never hit on a 17. and you I never get a 10, hit on a 17. hold on, if I do hit on a For 17, a right? let's say I get a 7 and I bust, I shouldn't have hit. You, then you had a 14 and you get a 7, you get a 21. You shouldn't have hit hold that. Hold on, hold on. You wouldn't have gotten that 7 if I didn't hit. That's right, Therefore, Brody. I helped you. Yes. You're not thinking clearly. <laughs> That's why gamblers lose and the casinos are so big. Or when we're playing at the Hard Rock and Scary scary thinks he's on what they call a you know a heater, and then Elvis sits down and goes, yeah, just throw it anywhere, and then throws off the whole table, and then walks away after one hand. Wait, what happened? <laughs> we're, we're at the Hard Rock at, at, at a party playing. We're all sitting down playing blackjack. Elvis goes, oh, let me sit down. Plays one hand, just 
throw, throws the money there, and then Scary goes, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Elvis <laughs> walks up and walks the away. The cards have a flow. To yes, them. if and you're on a run, you don't <laughs> sit down. If the table's on a run and everyone's on a rhythm, that's what Nate was talking about. The little old lady jumps in and fucks shit up. That's what I was hired by the casino. Yes, I'll Elvis never forget. Elvis sat down. You were the little old lady. <laughs> I was, biggest biggest I smile hired. on his face. The casino hired me. <laughs> Scary was so pissed. Like I, I, got, a, I got a free prime rib dinner. <laughs> the only the only scam is the free drinks. I did. They give you the free drinks so you'll get drunk and gamble poorly. That's why you get the free uh, drinks. I'll give you I that. Actually, one of my lowest moments in life. That I was sitting. Other than was, this one right yeah. now. Yes. <laughs> I was on a run. I feel bad now if she wasn't actually hired by the casino. But <laughs> this little old lady sits down. I'm on a tear. I'm winning every hand. And then this woman sits down and she's old as can be and she starts fucking up. And I'm like, lady, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to hit that. And she looks at me and she goes, I've been playing since you were in diapers. And then I look back and I go, well, at least I'm not wearing them now. You and are. Then, oh. <laughs> so rude. And I, but I was so pissed because oh. she was hitting the cars. Scary, you yes. know. And you, you were playing black the jerk. lady and she didn't deserve it. My Specifically God. in blackjack, it's, it's a thing called basic strategy. There's yes. a book about what you're supposed to do to have the best odds in your favor when certain And then Elvis sits in- down and oh. Scary goes, what are you doing? Oh, it looks <laughs> like true, Nate though. hit on 81. Come on. <laughs> you're all trying to win. It's a team against, you want the you want the dealer to lose. The boss. Period. Right. Yes. Okay, That's so I'll, ta- you against I'll the dealer. hit when I'm not supposed to. And then the next card, the dealer busts. Therefore, I helped you win. But you're not. Ugh. Yeah. He's the guy you would want to fight. <laughs> and those people that go, I got a feeling. Just hit me. Not, don't fucking do You don't have a feeling. Feel. There's no feel. Play what the basic strategy book says. Get out oh of here. God. You know what? Should I book the AA meeting now or? <laughs> no, that's G- That's how yeah. it's anonymous. Yeah, if you go meeting. to Vegas trying to augment your income, then you're fucked in the head. Right. You're there just to take chances. And you know what? And if, if you're it, belittling old women, you've taken it too seriously. All right, that I did cross the line. And Scary, we know you hit on 16. Well, you have to hit on 16. (laughs) Girls. Jesus Christ. You're supposed to hit on 16, by the way. Yeah, yes. Tell that to the judge. And you did. You doubled down. Oh, I get it now. That's not right. (laughs) (laughs) He's still mad at the old lady. I know everyone's getting really upset about blackjack. That was the most intense I think I've ever seen any conversation in this room, including politics, all kinds of stuff. When equipment doesn't work. My God. I had had an equipment (laughs) meltdown here in the studio today. Mm -hmm. This shit's supposed to work. Look at it. I don't care. see it. I don't know. They don't care. This place is like... They, they, we're moving, so technically if it breaks, they don't fix it. Yeah, this senioritis. Is, it, it'll break in the new place. We should plan a trip to Atlantic City. There's no air conditioning. What's that? I think we need to plan a trip to Atlantic City. No. Not, not together. I'm not going with you guys. No, no way. way. You. Oh, I go for fun. <laughs> it's no fun going with you. He goes and fucks shit up. And oh. if so happens it pays off, great. If it doesn't, my bad. <laughs> Isn't that the point of gambling? I guess. Yes, I guess. Well, it's supposed to be. <laughs> Don't bet your savings. I feel Don't like if you're that. gonna you're gonna gamble and you want to win money, it's best to bet on things like sports. Oh well, yeah. So you have a way better chance. No, of Wheel of Fortune working. slot machine. That's the way to go. <laughs> okay. Oh, that. That. Yeah, Wheel I love of that uh, friggin' uh, uh, the wheel thing. That, uh, oh, roulette? roulette. 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 I love roulette because you know what? When you do win, they give you mountains of chips. <laughs> 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 I like the craps table. You like shooting craps? I like shooting craps. I like being on the cum line. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I heard that about you, Duran. You have to you have to play, shoot craps to know what that even means. Yeah. <laughs> you showed me that movie years ago. What? Being on the cum line? <laughs> what? what? He's, He's making a joke said? on your joke. He's talking what? about shooting craps. R- oh. <laughs> you are. I don't think originally Elvis was. Scotty thought it was funny, isn't it? <laughs> he's cracking himself there actually up. Is, there actually is a cum line that you vote on. Now, if you don't know how to and play. it's C-O-M-E, by oh, the way. Oh. If you don't know how to play craps, because I always see it in the movies, James Bond's playing craps, right? If you don't know how to play, can you just go up there and throw the dice and they'll tell you if you won or not? Uh, Yeah. But right? you really should know what you're doing, because there are so many. You blow on the dice. I know that. <laughs> no, no. no. In, in the game of craps, there are so many different little things you can do. Yeah, I mean, there's right. a million of different ways yeah. to bet and to. Do it. I used to know when I was a kid because my dad taught me. Seems like a lot. <laughs> I like, I like Popular activity for eight, a 12 My line. dad taught me how to shoot the cum line. <laughs> I like to bet eight the hard way. You That's totally just bulldoze Elvis's <laughs> joke there, Wow. Scary. <laughs> Speaking of taking it eight the hard way. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're done. You guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.